Hey guys, today HSC is going to teach you how to make an automatic gate opener. So what we're going to need today is a 200 ohm resistor, a PIR sensor, a servo motor, and obviously some wires, an Arduino, and a breadboard. So first, I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about the PIR sensor. So the PIR motion sensor is short for passive infrared. And they are basically made up of pyroelectric sensors, which can detect levels of infrared radiation. And because everything emits some low level of radiation, the hotter something is, the more radiation is emitted. The sensor in this motion is split into two halves. And the reason for this is that we are looking to detect motion, not average infrared levels. The two halves are wired out so that they cancel each other out. Therefore, if one half sees more or less IR radiation than the other, the output will swing high or low. And here is the schematic for the project today. So now we'll be starting in the coding section of this project. So first we're going to include the library for the servo motor. So we're going to do hashtag include uh, servo.h. And then next we're going to initialize the servo motor. So we're going to do servo my servo. And you can change this to whatever you want, but you'll just have to change the code later on for when we use it. And then we're going to set some variables. We're going to do in LED equals 12, in PIR equals 13, in PIR is that equals 0, and in equals 0. And to change the pin number based on what you put into your Arduino. And now we're going to go to the setup portion of the code. So first, we're going to put the output. So we're going to put that pin mode uh, LED is the output. And then we're going to put pin mode. And we're going to see the PIR is the input. And then we're going to do my servo attach, my servo dot attach nine. And why are we doing that? Because we need to say that the servo motor is connected to the pin number nine. And then we're going to put the serial dot begin at 96,000. This isn't really needed, but we want to start input. So we're just going to put it here. And we're going to put my servo dot write. And we want to keep the servo in zero degrees. So we're going to put in whatever we put inside this position at the initial value of zero. And then next, we're going to put in the loop. So we need to set a value for the PIR stat because it'll be reading the value from the PIR sensor. So we're going to make the PIR stat uh, equal the digital read of, of um, the PIR. And we're going to do that because it needs to read the pin number of 13 and because that will save what the PIR senses into the motion. And then we're going to put an if statement for uh, like if the PIR senses, the LED will turn on and the servo motor will also turn on. So we're gonna put if PIR stat equals equals high. And so it will light up the LED and also it will detect if the servo motor 
sorry, it will detect if the PIR senses something and turn on the servo motor or turn the degree of the servo motor. So we're going to do digital, digital right at LED pin is high because that will turn on the LED and then we'll digital right. Oh, my bad. We will serial and I'm just putting this to show that there's some motion detected in the um in the 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 sensor. And then we're also gonna put a for loop. Um we're gonna put a for loop so that we can have a slow opening. So first we're gonna start it off at four, so the position will equal equal zero. And the position, we're gonna change it to 180, 180 degrees. So we're gonna make it 180. And then we're gonna make this position plus equals one. Right. And then we're gonna put my servo my bad, my servo dot right mm. we're going to delay this by 20 milliseconds and I also I kind of messed up here guys we should just put this as LED because we put this top as LED and Right. And then we're gonna put the digital right and we're gonna state that after this 20 millisecond delay, we're gonna put it on low. So we're gonna put the LED to low. And then we're gonna do a forward loop again. So it goes back into this normal position. We're gonna do position. And you don't need to put the spacing like I do, but it just looks so much neater when you do it. So I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to put my server right into that position. And then we're going to again delay it by 20 milliseconds. And then after that, we're just going to put an else. Uh, L statement here. It's like if it does not detect anything, we're just gonna put as nothing happens. So we're just gonna leave this inside blank. And yeah, and that's the end of the code.